Welcome back. Now it's the jeans segment. Before that, cup of tea. Soup some tea. Yeah, soup some tea. Some mint tea. Mm hmm That means soup mint tea. Yeah, you hear, you hear them soup tea? Yes, that means do. Not sip tea, you know. Soap. Anyhow, this is our jeans. As I said, I damped it. Mm -hmm. It was like this. Flood, sprinkle the water. Somebody said, don't do it. Yeah? And they roll it up and they put it in this, like this pillowcase. That's, that's where they were. In the pillowcase. Absorb the water. I did it early because I knew I was going to do this. Okay. We're going to do our pockets. I'm doing the pocket and doing the waist right here. Right. Waist. Okay, I'm not gonna go on the wrong side with the pants. So we're going to pull this on. The zip is down, so we're going to pull it over the board. Over the board. I like to use my hand to get the, put it in the pocket so it can, you know, be flat. Because you don't want when you're ironing, as I said, there are no crease. So we iron the pockets. Like when you when you talk to them, especially for the room, oh, mom. And that time we talk to them because they don't like it, so they'll do the right thing. And they don't want to hear me. When they don't do it, then they're gonna hear me. And I'm not gonna stop until it's done. That's our hours. Our house. It's not about your room or my room. It's our house. So we're going to keep it tidy. You want it to smell fresh and nice. So if your room is messy, mm, the place will smell funny. And you're going to have to come out there for dinner. You're going to have to open that door. No, we don't want that. We want your room to be tidy. It's also healthy. Keep your surrounding clean and tidy. You say if you left it for me, you gonna do it? You gonna hear me. Me do it enough, you're gonna hear me. All of us are in this. Not only one. I don't wanna see your clothes all over the place. That's why we have a laundry basket. Mm-hmm. So we have laundry basket. Together. Let's do it together. Okay, so we do our pockets. So we're gonna make our seam. Don't we love our seam? Woo! We love our seam. Okay, so I'm trying to center it here. So I want it to be straight. And then I'm going to put it on our board. So it's on our board like this. And 
young people. Now I pick pie, you know. I have them too. I now pick pie, you Because I tell you, I experience when I see so. When my son used to live, he would say, Mommy, I don't want to hear you. Well, do what you got to do and you will hear me. Oh. If you do what you have to do, you ain't going to hear me. But you don't come tell me it's your room. Nope, don't work. The whole place must be tidy. I don't want to be walking. Where that smell come from? Where that odor come from? Mm -mm. All because it's coming from your room. No, it's not right. Eve of the garbage bin, I sprayed. You know, there's one in the kitchen. I sprayed with a with my special spray bottle. Yep. Keep it fresh and nice. Stuff that I scrape out like meat or you know any little thing, do a little thing. I put them into a plastic bag. I always have those little bigger bags or you know whatever little plastic bags. Uh, the skin of the meat, and I put them in the freezer. And then the day that the garbage truck come in, then I just take them out and put them in there. Keeps, you know, everything should be clean around me. It's healthy to live clean. Just like it's healthy to eat, it's healthy to keep your surrounding clean. I mean, you make sure, even weekends, Get that spray bottle, that soap, and a piece of cloth. And you wipe off your doors, the handle of the doors, the switch. Yeah. The most important things you try to do. Space is so easy to wash. You don't have to wait until whenever. Once you use it, because you know the, the other's not going to do it. So, like, you know, you, the female, the head of the house, you go in there, you always have your rag close by. Well, for me, I keep a rag on the basin. And then I put on, if I have to put on my gloves, I do it. And I wash my basin. Because it tends to be greasy at times. Just one time you use it. They use it this morning, they use it. It's greasy. So can you imagine keeping it for three days greasy? It looks horrible. Okay, we're gonna turn this over. Oh, we're doing a good job here. This way our things will back up on us. a shower. I also have a rag in there. A little uh, one of those butter dish in there with my rag and thing or cloth whatever. When I get out to finish I just soak it up and leave it. Yeah. I wash it out, throw some water, wash it out and then soak it and leave it. So when I soak it whatever it just stay there until when I'm ready to give it that deep wash which is maybe another three days or so but Remember, I'm not the only one using it, so what I do, I just soap it up. Yeah. Try to manage, maintain the work. So when I'm ready to wash it, it don't take me no long time. We're not perfect, but you know, the good thing we can help each other. Share how we, you know, one get it done.
share our ideas with each other. Good thing. Guess what? Seems like we're getting close to finishing our jeans, see? Yeah? One more jeans. So do a little wiping. Then I put this down, then I go back for my other jeans. Yeah. Out, and then we're gonna go to the pockets. Pockets, do that, then we're gonna pull this on on our board. Put our hands in so I can get the pocket flats like that. Is another thing. Daddy gets out the bed last. You know, he wants to relax. He's not gonna leave that bed. So I go there and make it. Oh, he's gonna make it. Even if he doesn't make it good, and then I'll go put it the way I want it. But he's gonna show some effort that he's gonna make it. He's making it. That goes for all the men out there, the, the young men and the young wives. Yeah. They make that bed. They get up, make it, shake it up, brush it off. Yeah? Yeah, but not even if they're not sprayed. Shake it up, brush it off, shake up the pillows. Make your bed nice and even if you go back in, go back in there, nice. Yeah, man. I saw the thing wrong. I saw the thing going on. Yeah, man. Still have the whole school. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Keep it clean and tidy. You use the oven after the oven cool, after you finish heat. Why don't you go by four degrees? No matter, make it stain. If there is any grease and then if you don't do it then that grease backs up and then you use it again and then that, it, you know there's more grease on it and then you know what happened you're gonna take the whole thing and you're gonna spray things in there to you know soak it and then you're gonna use knife 
spend a lot of all you could do is just use the piece of rug to do the kitchen and wipe it out. That's all you have to do now. Once you use, just wipe it out right there and then after, by in the evening after you finish eating dinner. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Same thing with the stove. You finish with the stove, wipe you know, leave it. If you leave it, you go back or use it again. And when you go back or use it again, then then gonna be grease, and then you leave. Yeah, you can't bother. Oh, you can't bother. You make it stay up. Eat. Burp. Do everything and relax. And then later you go wipe it off. Don't leave it for two or three. How many how many days they're dried up and all of that. things you know it's so easy dish drainer just once you put the dishes in there a matter of fact I don't put a lot in there I use a uh, rag dry them and put them away save me the trouble to come back so you know you're gonna have to manage your place it's not what you do is how you do it after you finish heat and relax and you use uh, the toaster just empty all the crumbs out of it I think I need to refill I'm gonna refill we're getting there with our jeans A little commercial right there. Mm -hmm. My little commercial. While I was refilling, a little commercial. Yep. You see what we do? Make whatever you do fun. Make, you know, don't do anything and then you're. You're so unhappy. Mm -hmm. You make it get bad, then that's why you you're so unhappy. Because you don't like it. Because you make it stay too bad. Make it done so bad. Don't make it stay so bad. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, my thing is this: is that when I do things, I do it because I think I did it last week, you know, not because I tan bad. Hearts looking bad. You have six windows in your house. Well, I'm not doing anything. I feel too tired. Just go wipe the one of them. And another time you wipe them, the other one. You see a little dust on the one. Go wipe it. Just wipe it off. Till when, so at least when you wipe in the other two, the other one already clean. Manage your work. Multitask. It's a machine you take out your laundry to the machine. Where you pour the soap, like some soap, catch it, wipe it off. Don't make the soap back up on it. You have to be in charge of that body. I mean, you're not gonna push it. No, you're not gonna do that. But a lot of times, if you follow that mind, you do get nothing done. You gotta be in charge. Get some rest whenever. Do your thing. Around the table having breakfast. And you, you know, your eyes all over the place. Oh, what is that on the fridge though? Sweet meat on eat? I don't know what is it. 
Yeah, finish eating breakfast and then clean it up. Let's take our time and do our thing. Some people like to do all of it one time, and you know that even when they do all at one time, they don't get all of it done. No, they don't do it properly. It's just like a rush. Wipe the kitchen every other day. If I'm cleaning the, the living room, I don't have to clean the kitchen. Yeah? If you're cleaning the oven, you don't have to clean the microwave because you clean it all the time. It keeps clean. That sort of thing. Okay, we're getting close to the end of hiring our jeans. your starch go ahead as you can see today iron jeans iron shirts and I do not use any starch okay if you like what I'm doing even if you as I said if you like you know what I said it doesn't mean that you have to love doing it but you like to see someone else does it. Like, mm -hmm. share it. Yeah, you want to, oh, this person, I like the way this person iron. Share it, yeah. And subscribe. So when I'm doing more videos like these, then you will be the first to know. Sometimes I'm not the first to know, that depends. Maybe you, you're busy or so, but at least you'll know without somebody can tell you, right? So, like, share, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. That's great. Getting to the end of our jeans. Yes. So we did two jeans, two jeans pants. And we always like her seam, right? See? Old school, love her seam, jeans, pants. If you want it to be stiff, then you use starch. But if you don't worry about it, then you're just one of those, you know, natural person. Then you just want water and hard, because it's not what you do, it's how you do it. So you don't have to have uh, starch to get it done properly. Okay? All right, these are my shirts. Okay, so. These are our shirts. Okay, some shirts here. We put the seam. That's our jeans, jeans pants, and this, these are our shorts. So the shorts. And I look at the time. Okay. So I started about. Well, in about uh, 10 minutes to 10. And now it's like 11.30, almost 11.30. And I did all of this. So, as you can see, I hope you like. Mm -hmm. I hope you love them. I hope you share them. I hope you also subscribe. And I thank you for watching. And guess what? Me I go drink the rest of my mint tea? No. So until then, go drink mint tea.